Medical field offers the most exciting and fulfilling careers. As a doctor, you can find satisfaction from curing other persons. Do you know, in need this year, approximately 11.4 lakh students appeared, out of which 6 lakh were declared successful. So in this lecture presentation, we, as T. Mari Hunt, will be dealing with the subject-wise basic pattern and strategy to be adopted to succeed in need. Let us begin with physics. Concepts, laws and constants are three basic pillars of physics. Unlike any other subject, physics is best learned by doing, that is, solving problems and applying what you have learned in theory. Now, as per PMT physics, one need to have unmatched visualization of concepts, consistency about your goal, a perfect embedding of facts and data in your memory, a good hand at the application path, and mathematical tools. For the start in physics, one requires some mathematical topics as helping tools. These topics include theory of equations, basic trigonometric formulae, basic curves and their equations, calculus, vectors, a glimpse of AOD, and basic algebra. Now let's start with the discussion of the various portions of physics PMT syllabus. The very first part of this curriculum is general physics. It contains important information regarding the topics, units and their conversion, dimensions, significant figures and scientific notation, etc. Every year, at least one question had been asked related to this part in need. Most of the students skip this portion, but it is suggestive not to skip this one. Basically, this part gives an overview of all the chapters and physics terminology in brief. The next portion is mechanics. This is the most student-lovable portion of physics and the most time-consuming while learning. Amongst all the chapters under this portion, rotation is the most important one. Every year, around 10 to 12 questions are expected from this part considering need. Also, each and every problem of mechanics is framed with a million of thoughts that its discoverer might had at the time of its generation. Hence, it is advisable to sit with the problem for an hour, play with it, twist it, make mistakes, try to correct them and again make new mistakes. In this way, you may figure out many ways to solve it and might end up with the simplest way to do so. Perfection in concepts of mechanics is must for the thorough understanding of chapters like fluids, elasticity, gravitation, SHM, waves and up to some extent electrostatics and magnetism. Be cautious. Don't consider mechanics as only physics. So, it is recommended do mechanics but don't overdo it. The next portion is properties of matter. This portion is comparatively easier and has few practical findings without analytical proofs. For example, elasticity of iron is more than that of rubber etc. Most of the portion of this part incorporates a mechanical input, that is, this part is considered as the subsidiary of mechanics. On an average, 2-3 to three questions are asked in need from this particular part. The next portion is heat and thermodynamics. It is an important portion and contains chapters common to chemistry curriculum also. The frequency of questions asked in PMT from this portion is very high. Minimum of 5 questions were asked in the last 3 need. Also, nothing in thermodynamics is governed by any universal static law. Rather, everything is based upon human experiences. The next portion is oscillation and waves. It is the last part of your class 11 syllabus and the importance of this particular part lies in the fact that it works as the base for wave optics of class 12. In the year 2016 and 2017, around 5 questions each were asked in need. So, just make firm grip over the basic terms, definitions and their applications to get the maximum advantage from this part. 
the next portion is electromagnetics and electrodynamics the three pillars to tackle this portion are mechanics vectors and calculus further like mechanics this portion is also highly interconnected and sequential in nature in need near about 10 to 12 questions were appeared in the last 3 years consecutively consistency and regularity are the two basic requirements needed to capture this portion so make sure your stepwise conceptual and understanding and then its consolidation through applications the next portion is optics optics consist of two parts namely ray and wave optics the ray optics is an individual and isolated part. The problems of this part involves the application of geometry. If your visualization is perfect, then it is captured very easily. The wave optics on the other hand is the part which includes real physics in it. Certain interesting physical phenomena like resonance, Doppler's effect, Young's double slit experiment that is YDSC etc are the key features of sound and light waves. The frequency of questions asked in NEET in the past 3 years based on ray optics are 3 and based on wave optics are 2. There are very few questions on these topics and one can master them from any simple book. So for wave optics, NCRT is considered as the sacred and ultimate guide. The last portion of the PMT syllabus is modern physics. It is the largest portion but can be best tackled through NCRT. Approximately 5 questions were appeared in need from this particular part. Two basic components of modern physics are first the atomic and nuclear physics which contains the common portion with chemistry curriculum of class 11 syllabus and the second component is semiconductor electronics and communication system which includes all the basics related to our digital world development. From the above mentioned strategy, you must have felt that the syllabus for NEET is very vast and difficult one. The inclusion of diverse range of topics at the same time can cause problems as this requires encompassing of lots of resources in limited time. There are many books in the market but their scope does not matches with these requirements. But mark my words, there, there is no need to worry as Arihant Publication has come up with improved and revised editions of books for NEET, namely NEET Objective Physics by DC Pandey. This book is quite comprehensive in nature and cover each and every topic in detailed manner providing the correct study strategy for success. So, if you want to cover the whole syllabus in a limited yet comprehensive manner, you can have a look at our books in the market.